Now the king, this king Indradumna, was born in the dynasty of Swayam Bhuvamanu, and <coughs> he was a king of Pandya country. Now Indradumna Maharaj, <coughs> he was a Vaishnava, hmm? and he was a king. He was a Rajarshi, but he had given his kingdom to his children. Hmm? He has taken one prastha, hmm? and he was practicing austerity in, on the Malaya mountains. He was practicing. He was, he was a vana prastha. The dharma of the vana prastha is tapasya, and he was doing that. <coughs> and what was the situation? Jata dharas tapasa alupta vachutam. Hmm? What was he doing? Whom was he on meditating? And what was the situation? He 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 wore matted locks on his head and was always engaged in austerities and he was observing a vow of silence and what was he doing he was worshiping the supreme personality of godhead within his heart hmm? and he was not just worshiping but he was absorbed in ecstasy of the su supreme personality of godhead and there is a worshiping and now there is absorbing in the ecstasy is different hmm? He was on a very advanced stage of Krishna consciousness. Hmm? While Indradumna Maharaj was engaged in ecstatic meditation, worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead, at that time the great Agastya Rishi came there. Hmm? Now, who is this Agastya Muni? We have to understand. Hmm? Now, we, con we, are, we are convinced that if Indradumna Maharaj was a great personality, he was a Rajarshi, but now he was taken a Vanaprastha, he was practicing Krishna consciousness, and that too. He was experiencing ecstatic symptoms, that means he was a very advanced Vaishnava. Hmm? Now there Agastya Rishi comes. Now who is this Agastya Rishi? Let us try to understand from the lips of Shukadeva Goswami, who is Agastya Rishi? Itihasam imam guhyam bhagavan kumbh sambhava kathayamasa malaya asino haricharyam. Shukadeva Goswami is saying that when the great sage Agastya, the son of Kumbha, was residing on the Malaya hills. Hmm? Now, King Indra was also on Malaya hills and Shukadeva Goswami is saying that Agastya Rishi also used to stay on Malaya hills. Same. Hmm? At the, and worshipping the, he was worshipping the Supreme Personality of God, he was also worshipping the Supreme Lord. Hmm? At that time, Shukadeva Goswami is saying, I approached him. He went there. Shukadeva Goswami went to Malaya Hills and he expl and Agastya Rishi explained to him the history of Ajamil hmm, at that time. That means Shukadeva Goswami, one of the Shiksha Gurus of Shukadeva Goswami is Agastya Rishi. So naturally Agastya Rishi also cannot be an ordinary soul. Hmm. Agastya Rishi also has to be a something elevated personality. Hmm. Although very little is mentioned in the Puranas about the, about the education of Agastya, but it is understood from the Mahabharata and Adi Parva, <coughs> chapter 139, that he was a very skilled in all the Vedic sciences. He was very expert. <coughs> very, very expert. Hmm? And when this Agastya Muni saw Maharaj Indra Dumne, who was sitting in meditation, hmm? when he when he came there, he was, Indra Dumne Maharaj was practicing this, he was doing his meditation and naturally when he was in trance, he was not able to offer his respect to Agastya Rishi. So in one sense, there was not no fault. He was not, Indra Dumne Maharaj was not disrespecting Agastya Rishi. If Indra Dumne Maharaj could have been an external consciousness, certainly while seeing a personality like Agastya Rishi, who will not stand up? Hmm? But this was not the situation. The situation was that Agastya Muni was, he arrived there and Indra Dhumna Maharaj's eyes were closed. No, Indra Dhumna Maharaj, he was Indra Dhumna Vanachari. Hmm? His eyes were closed and he was doing his tapasya. Hmm? He was meditating on the Lord. <coughs> Agastya Muni then spoke a curse against the king, the king Indra Dhumna. Hmm? And he, he said that, you, your behavior is not gentle, you are very low and very uneducated, you have only, you are insulted me. Now here Agastya Muni is speaking and Indra Dhimna Maharaj is still in trance. He was not even able to understand what, what is happening externally. 
was agastya muni cursing or not cursing he was not able to understand he even did not know where agastya rishi was there hmm? and <clears throat> he therefore entered the kingdom of darkness and received that go and receive the that you will become a dumb like an elephant hmm? he cursed him <clears throat> now agastya muni thought it that it was wise it was wise for him to curse this this person because he did not offer respects to respect to the brahmana hmm? so he cursed him to become an elephant okay hmm? actually agastya muni bestowed causeless mercy on indradumna swami indradumna maharaj it was his causeless mercy hmm? <coughs> because <coughs> the curse was indirectly a benediction hmm? hmm? actually it was a curse from external vision but if you see internally hmm? it was a big benediction for indradumna hmm? why it was a big benediction because he was been transferred to a different species of life where he was going to get a direct contact with the supreme personality of godhead hmm? so it was a benediction it might ha- it might uh, happen that indradumna vanachari was practicing his bhakti, what is practicing his devotional life and could have taken him some more time but here by the mercy of agastya rishi immediately he was promoted i will say promoted hmm? instead of dimosh promoted to a uh, f- uh, an species of elephant and he was fortunate that he got association of lord supreme lord himself hmm? now <clears throat> when the curse was uttered what was indradumna's reaction now we have to understand that scenario also how did he take it how did he take the curse hmm? इंद्र दुम्योपिराजर्षि दृष्टि तद उपधारयन आपन्ना कौंजरी योनि आत्मा स्मृति विनाशन हर अर्चय अनुभाव यदत्मृति न आफ्टर अगस्त्य मुनि लेफ्ट सम ऑफ द एसोसिएट्स ऑफ इंद्र इंद्र दुम वनचारी और ही माइट हैव टोल्ड इम नियर बाय पीपल हैव टोल्ड इम दैट अगस्त्य ऋषि के मैनी कर्स्ट यू at that time <clears throat> since the now he was a devotee and because he has because he was a devotee he accepted agastya rishi's curse as a welcome hmm? understanding that it was a desire of the supreme personality of godhead hmm? therefore although how it was how can it be understood that it was a desire of the supreme personality of godhead because when he took the birth of an elephant he was able to remember his past life mattah smritir gyana bahamcha without the mercy of the lord no one can understand remember anything and and uh, and and without the mercy of the, and with and with the lord's mercy everybody and anybody can forget anything hmm? so we have to understand this point that the lord's sanction was there and the lord was with him and by the will of the lord only this thing has happened and so in gajendra when he uh, he was in the when in this indradumna maharaj was in the body of gajendra he was able to remember that prayer of gajendra hmm? similar thing happened with maharaj bharat when maharaj bharat became a deer in the body of a deer he was able to remember his past life that he was the emperor of the whole world hmm and because of that reason in the body of the deer he went back again to that same ashram where the rishis were practicing krishna consciousness there he went and he gave up his body there then he came as jad bharat hmm? so the lord's sanction in the lord's hand has to be there and here it was the will of the supreme lord that's why gajendra was able to remember his past life